Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. We can all practice the wonderful techniques of active listening, and there's lots of information on them out there, and we can still miss the point. We can also know that there are four parts to listening. Receiving, understanding, evaluating, and responding. And practice these things and still not connect well with the people we're trying to reach. This came home to me when I was having a conversation with someone, let's call him Rob, as I was doing my interviews for my next book, Leaders on Rapport, Secrets to Creating Successful Connection. And Rob's point was this, and it's a rare point. We need to listen not just for content, but for emotion. And Rob told me the story. He had an appointment to see the president of a company, and of course he was hoping the president would listen to him and decide to work with him. And he got there in time for the meeting, and the president didn't show up. And it was about 20 minutes later when the president actually arrived and had realized he was so overwhelmed with what was going on that day that he had missed the appointment entirely and really didn't have time to meet with Rob. Rob said, let's reschedule, but let me ask you one question first. What is it that's going on that's making you so busy? And the president was able to tell him what was happening. And Rob listened to what the president said and reflected back to him, well, of course you don't have enough hours in the day and you feel so squeezed when your to-do list is this long. And I understand why you can't meet with me today. So let's reschedule. And they did. And when Rob came back in the next time, of course the president didn't want to blow him off twice. And Rob continued to listen to what the president's emotions, underlying emotions behind just the content of what he was saying. And Rob continued to reflect these things back to him. So the president was angry about some things that had happened. The president was upset about others. He was worried about things. And Rob continued to reflect these emotions back to him. And what happened, of course, was that the president felt that Rob really understood his situation. Because I truly believe that we all wander around feeling chronically unseen and unheard. And when someone pays attention to what we have to say, it's magnetic for us. And in this instance, it wasn't just the content of what the president was saying, why he was busy and what was going on with his company, but how this was making him feel. And someone understood how he felt. And guess what? Ultimately, Rob and the president work together. This week, pay attention not to just what people are saying about what's going on, but also how this is making them feel. And then reflect those feelings back to them so they truly believe that you understand what's happening with them. This builds a bond with you, and particularly it appeals to the emotional center of the brain of the person you're speaking with. And guess what? That's where they make their decisions. When you listen for their emotions in addition to what they're actually saying to you and create this kind of bond, you become the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.